Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to save query results to text or Excel file from SQL Server Management Studio. And we'll be looking in a couple options to save the results in text or Excel. So let's go ahead and do that. This is my SQL Server Management Studio. I'm going to go ahead and write a SQL Server query real quick. Select asterisk from very simple sys.databases. So I'm going to grab all the databases information on this particular instance. And before I do that, right here I have, if you hover out over your mouse, results to a text, results to a grid, and then results to a file. What results to a file does, basically if you click on that, it will save in uh, RPT format um, and report format. So we're in this video, we're gonna look at these two options, results to a text and results to grid. So let's go ahead and click results to text and once you do that and execute the query, everything right here in the SQL Server Management Studio, this is all text. So you can get all the results in text format and you can copy paste in uh, or save this file uh, basically in any text format. Uh, and it looks much nicer up here in text format as well. So next option we're going to go ahead and look at it is uh, click on results to grid. This is the default um, uh, in, in SQL Server, the result uh, set, uh, the show of the result set in SQL Server whenever you run in, uh, any query in SQL Server, this is the default uh, results to grid. It shows us uh, the result sets in grid. So we're going to go ahead and execute. As you can see, it's much nicer right here. Uh, it's all grid. Now we have a couple options. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, using grid once you have the results we have couple options if you click on right here on the corner this will select all the cells uh, rows and columns so we're gonna go ahead and right click on that and uh, we have an option that we can go ahead and copy paste uh, we can click on copy and paste in text file or uh, in Excel but if we just do copy, it's not going to go ahead uh, and uh, get us the header name, which is the column names for us right here in this query. So sometimes it's very important to get the column names. Uh, and if you wanted to get the column names, you need to click on copy with header. So we're going to go ahead and copy with header. And let's go ahead and put it in Excel right here. As you can see that uh, it, it has all the column names and much nicer results. And let's look at other option. So if you go ahead, copy, go in Excel, Control V, as you can see, the header is not there, just the result sets. So we're not gonna save this. And um, if we go ahead and right click and save as, the difference between this save as and copy and paste is uh, with the header, because if you will save this file in Excel, it's not going to save the header right now. So let's say my databases info, and I'm going to save it on desktop. So we're going to save it and let's open that. As you can see that there is there are result sets right here but there is no header no columns right here so that's the difference between uh, basically using right click and copy with header you can also go in um, this management studio query options and make the permanent changes but I just wanted to look at I uh, just wanted to show you the uh, uh, most results that we see every day and how to save them in SQL Server in Excel and how to save them in uh, um, uh, also text file. So what we're going to do is right here and do save as. So we have two options. One is we can save it in Excel and other is we have a uh, um, text file. So this option right here to save the results in text file is much better option because um, I'll show you how. So I'm going to go ahead in text. Um, I said my my DB information in text. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And let me show you open with. Let's go ahead and click add it. As you can see right here, uh, it's much nicer format in text. But if you go ahead and let me show you real quick. 
that if you go ahead and run it in text right here let's go ahead and run it and control a control c that is copy and we're gonna go ahead and go notepad and control v even though this have a header this this has a header format right here but this is much weird as you can see right here so this is not a good option to save our file to look at it later on I, I think the uh, to me the better option is you click on grid execute and then you have more options either you wanted to save as uh, right here as a text or um, Excel if you wanted to go ahead and uh, open right click copy with with header and notepad and let's see what it looks like right here this is a um, bit better but not all that great either so I think that um, I would uh, if I wanted to save as in text I will go ahead and um, basically used as save as option with the text right here tab delimited so that would be a better option in order to save it in heck uh, in in text but if you wanted to use it Excel my better option is right click and copy with header and open my Excel right here and just paste it right here and then I can save it and it's much nicer just wanted to show you different options basically how to save the query results in SQL Server Management Studio these um, uh, up here all the results the way that you wanted to look at can be permanent if you go in uh, SQL Server uh, Management Studio query option and then you can change different option based on what you would like to see and I hope this video helps